Hi everyone, long time no vlog. I feel like I have not vlogged in so long, because I haven't. I'm here with, Tyler's usually off on Mondays. I am working from home, so I've just been working like so far, and then we're going to Trader Joe's, and I have not been to Trader Joe's in, when is the last time I went to Trader Joe's? I genuinely, truly do not remember the last time I stepped foot into Trader Joe's. Before Thanksgiving, before like Halloween, it's been like a very, very long time. So they might have new goodies. They definitely will. They'll have the seasonal stuff. It's pretty caliente in here. Put the air on. Um, so that's what we're doing. I'm really, really, really excited. My hair's a little frizzy because I woke up and we went straight for a walk with the dog, and it's hot. It's hot. I only have a hoodie on because I always get cold in stores. That's kind of the day. I figured I'd take you with us to the Joe's. Jesus Shit. Christ, I was looking bro. at that. I didn't want to hit the trash can. God. <laughs> well, that's what I, I get nervous when you put me on camera. I jaw. Oh my God. Man, you see how quick they come? It doesn't matter. Yeah. You do that on purpose. I don't. So annoying. Like, you're not in a race car. I'm not. Exactly. Anyways. <laughs> and then I'll do a haul when we get back home. Are you flustered? Tu si que jode. But did you die? No, please. Hi, lady. Come on, go. Go outside. Go party. Go party. Go potty. Go. Go potty. No, what are you doing? Go outside. 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 You don't want to go outside. Okay. Well, we are back home. So, it's hall time. Just wanted to let him out to use the bathroom, but clearly doesn't have to. Let's dissect this grocery trip. Tyler grabbed me some roses, so pretty. They didn't have any tulips. They're like orange with a little bit of red like hints to it, super pretty. Start with the fun stuff. Tyler got some pancake bread. If you've never tried this from Trader Joe's, very good time. I grabbed some of these sliced Almonds, they're honey roasted, they're really good on yogurt or like oatmeal, things like that. Got these two things, I got goddess dressing, if you've never tried this, this is really good as salad dressing, but also like on fish, like crispy fish, really good for like tacos. And then I got this, I've never seen before, Trader Joe's Limon Alfredo Sauce. And I love lemon with my pasta, so pretty sure I'm gonna love that. I have three seasonings. I got this one, Barbecue 101. I've never picked this up before, but since it's starting to get hot again, I figured we're probably gonna grill. So I'm gonna try this one. And then I got onion salt. Use this a lot. I also got smoked paprika, my favorite. I got a backup of the habanero hot sauce, my favorite hot sauce. This sauce right here, it's a organic sriracha and roasted garlic barbecue sauce. This is in Incredible on wings, on chicken tenderloins, on um, like if you make like a barbecue pizza, this is so good, so good. We got two of our hair mask. This is like a must in our uh, shower. The hot and sweet jalapenos, a favorite of mine. I get them almost every time I go. And I got a huge thing of extra virgin olive oil. This is only like $8 for this big thing, so I always get it when I go. And then avocado oil spray, just to have kind of boring produce stuff. A white onion, uh, a red bell pepper, and a green bell pepper. I got Kerrygold Irish butter, a little thing of heavy, heavy whipping cream. This is another thing that I always like to have because it works for a lot of recipes. The low carb tortillas, favorite. I got a pack of eggs. Ooh, this is a fun bag. I got a pack of salmon. I always get this. It's a uh, wild caught salmon fillets. I got two of these. This is the spicy Mexican cauliflower stir fry. 
my absolute favorite cauliflower rice ever. We got the cheese filled fiocchetti with pink sauce, super good. We like to have these like little frozen pastas like on hand if there's ever like a day that we don't feel like cooking, we can just throw this in a pan and all their pastas are very good. We got the penne arrabbiata, it's a little spicy, it's so good. I got my favorite shrimp, these are the Argentinian shrimp, they're incredible. We got cachao with pepe, also delicious. We got a big bag of just breaded chicken tenders. Um, again, just throw in the air fryer and chop up and put in a salad or something like that. And then I got a pack of chicken tenderloins. Last bag I have, I have fresh basil, always a must. Some crumbled goat cheese, also a must. Garlic cubes, I buy these of garlic and ginger all the time because it's just very convenient. They're kind of pricey, but just to not have to like crush ginger or uh, garlic, it's really convenient. My favorite salad pack from there is the broccoli and kale slaw. I love this. I got some yellow squash just for veggies. I got, well, Tyler got a thing of milk. Another bag of the cauliflower stir fry thing. And then I have mango, not mango, pineapple chunks and shredded mozzarella just to have. Wow, that wasn't that much and that was really expensive. <laughs> now that I think about it. Well, because everything is, the cost of everything is going up. So there is all my food. So I'm going to put all this away and then I'm going to make something to eat because I'm so hungry. Hey guys, so it's been a few hours and I've been in my backyard like I do. I was just like cleaning it up a little bit, straightening it up. Um, Tyler leaf, leaf blew the deck because we have so many trees back here that this thing is usually covered in trees by like the end of the week. Um, so yeah, I was just cleaning it up, bringing the seat that was down there back up here. I have my fire pit over there, but it's starting to get hot again. So I'm not gonna be using the fire pit anytime soon. And I just brought up my chairs and yeah, I need to get a different, I bought these striped ones as like a backup because my white ones, like these here, I actually need to throw these in the washing machine pretty soon. Um, my white ones that were for the love seat, my hair is like all frizzy. Sorry, my white ones that were for the love seat um, got so ruined from the rain because it rains a lot in Florida. I feel like people that don't live here don't know that, but like in the summertime here, there's not helicopters um in the summertime here it rains i'm talking almost every single day almost every day it rains and so even with the covers that i would put on them it would like leak through so they ended up just getting damaged so i went to at home because they sell everything for the house while wow, my hair tyler was has been like working on something in the bathroom this whole time and we only have one bathroom so i haven't been able to freaking take a shower i'm like can i take a shower yet and he's like just wait until the thing dries but anyways, um, at, at home, they didn't have any white uh, covers. So I had even contacted the manufacturer for where I bought these to see if I could get just replace, like buy white covers. And they said they don't sell them. So I'm like, okay. I saw some at Target recently, but they're expensive. Like these cushions are not cheap. I think I paid like $150 just for the cushions over here. Like the striped white and blue. I don't know why I just told you all of that. <laughs> but anyways, um, yesterday, I spent, yesterday was Sunday, and I went to church at 10.30, and then as soon as I left, I came home, and I, the weather was just so beautiful. It's been perfect the last couple days. If it stayed like this during the summer, I would love Florida weather. I would be obsessed with it, but it doesn't stay like this in the summer. It gets very, 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 very hot and very humid like unbearable to be outside unless you're in the water type thing but yesterday was so nice it was still kind of chilly like it was like in the 60s so i brought out a blanket and i read the book ugly love by colleen hoover oh my god that book i was so into the book that i start i had only started one chapter like i i only started it and read one chapter um because i had started at night so i was getting sleepy so i only started the book like a week ago and then yesterday i finished the entire book because i was so captivated by this story it was incredible i finished it i think i came out here at like 
12.31 and I didn't get up from my hammock. I was literally here all day. I have a pillow there and I just brought a blanket from inside. I was there until like 4.30. Like that's how long I stayed outside and it was so peaceful because the weather was so nice. It's really breezy and it was just great. And I'm just taking a lot of time lately to do things like that that make me happy, that make my soul feel good and i've mentioned so many times but i'm an outside type of person not that i like doing outdoor stuff but i need to be outside like feeling fresh air and hearing life around me and that was so good because oh i just i spent the whole day outside i've been outside almost all day today too um i was working out here i was hanging out out here i had my coffee out here i had my lunch out here and i just try to stay out here as much as possible because being inside really messes with me like it messes me up but yeah i haven't vlogged in about a week so i was like i feel like i haven't like talked to you guys in a long time and i've just been like i had mentioned it was gonna be i've just been really busy with the store and it's too much to vlog like it, it gets very hectic to where like it's too much to vlog or it's just not fun stuff to vlog and it's just been back to back every single week we've done multiple launches um packed a lot of orders and i'm so grateful and so happy everyone's been loving our launches and the pieces but it is a lot of work so it's just did you fart leonard yeah it's just been like consuming me because it's a lot of work um and today's monday today's president's day so we just decided to take it easy today work from home and um tomorrow we have a huge shipment of inventory coming that we need to process count quality check all that stuff we have like 50 orders that we have to do that are pending from the weekend and then start getting ready for our shoot on Thursday for the launch on Friday. So it's just been like a lot. And it's been the same every week. Get inventory, count it, receive it, quality check it, put it in inventory, contact models, schedule models, shoot the, shoot the launch, edit photos, do try-ons, upload the photos to the website. It's just a lot. So I've just been very like caught up in that and trying to just stop when i feel like i'm exhausted or need to stop lenny lenny what are you doing um tyler's taking a nap inside right now i was like let me come outside and chat for a little while i guess update you guys i know almost everybody just wants to know like wedding stuff and nothing has really happened um as of yet i actually have the second payment for our airbnb in two days and that's the final payment and then our airbnb is paid which is where we're getting married at. Time is flying. It's about to be March and we leave April 30th. So it's just a lot. I'm very, like, I just can't believe the time went by so fast. Like, so fast. We still have to go to the courthouse. Um, we're having kind of like an engagement party type thing at my mom's in March. And then the next weekend is my birthday and I leave to Miami for the Bad Bunny concert. It's actually on my birthday, so that's going to be really fun. And then by the time I get back and settled, it's like go time for leaving to europe it's gonna be really hectic i have to do like all my maintenance i have to get a wax i have to get a haircut i have to do my nails i have to do my brows i have to do my lashes i have so much little stuff like in between that i need to do but i'm very excited i'm very excited i can't wait to marry tyler he's literally the best guy in the world so i'm i'm really really excited we still have to get a lot of stuff for him he hasn't bought my wedding band yet so he needs to get that i need to see if i can get his band size and they gave me like a hard time with it whatever we need to get his wedding shoes i haven't even gotten my wedding dress yet like i ordered it already and it's being made but i think it's supposed to ship out this week or next week from the ukraine and there's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now in the ukraine so i'm just very hopeful that it'll get here early enough that i can try it on and make any adjustments if i need to and if something goes wrong i hope it doesn't but like i'm nervous that like it's gonna get here and i'm gonna hate it or it's just not gonna be what i expected because everything had to be done virtually but anyways it's five o'clock i think or about to be five so i'm about to just put on some jazz wind down enjoy it out here drink my water and chill until i have to get dinner ready i'm making i took out ground turkey and i think i'm gonna make like a hamburger but in a wrap kind of like a cheeseburger but in a wrap so i have ground turkey and i'm gonna put um like lettuce tomatoes onion pickles uh ketchup mustard and make it like a cheeseburger but in a wrap i think that's gonna be yummy so yeah that's what's for dinner but 
yeah, I'm just gonna chill here for a little while and just kind of relax my mind and I'll catch up with you guys later. So it's been a while, I'm still outside. I've been outside all day. And I'm just thinking about, I'm starting to have like those like, they're not nightmares because I'm awake, but like I'm having so many thoughts about my dress and when it gets here and like the possibilities got my hair like what can go wrong like if it doesn't fit if it's too small go um like if it's too big i purposely gave her measurements that were a little bit bigger than what mine are because you can always get something tailored to be smaller but if it's too tight then you're screwed and i'm like oh my god like the last thing i want is to get the dress and it fit me too tight and then me feel like i have to do like crash dieting to fit into my dress like i am like getting to that point and i don't want to be like that because i want everything to be as like easy and stress-free as possible which is why we chose to go the route that we did and my mind has gone into a million different directions i bought my shoes like my wedding shoes before i even drew out what i wanted for my dress so i'm like what if the dress gets here and the shoes don't look good with it i have i'm like in, I have mentally so many different like things going through my head because it's not like I can try this dress on before because it's coming from the Ukraine so it's like once it gets here that's it that's what I have and I'm like okay worst case scenario what can I do I'm like okay I can like rush order another dress but I'm like the whole point was that I wanted to wear something super unique and something that I put my ideas into but I'm like, you know, if worse comes to worse, then I'll just buy something off of a rack. And I'm like, okay, where am I going to buy this dress from? And then I'm like, did I pick the right fabric? Like, I picked a satin. I don't even know if it stretches. I hope it does. I'm just starting to, like, spiral. My hair is not helping. And I'm like, how do I want to do my nails? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea how I want to do my nails. I still don't even know how I want to do my makeup. We just finished dinner and I'm gonna leave the recipe that I made for Tyler down below. It was um, rotini skillet lasagna. Oh my God. I'm about to go jump in the shower. So I was like, okay, let me close out today's portion. Um, it was so delicious. I ended up eating a uh, cheeseburger wrap with the same ground turkey. I cooked ground turkey and then I used the ground turkey for Tyler's and a pasta and then I used the um, ground turkey for me in a like low carb tortilla wrap and I put like a ton of toppings. I put tomatoes, spinach, um, onions, pickles, mustard, sugar free ketchup. It was really good, but I'm tired. Like today has been a very drawn out day, but I'm gonna leave the recipe that I used for Tyler's down below. It was so good and very quick and easy. I feel like if you have a big family or just like kids that love noodles or pasta and you need something quick to feed your entire family, this is a really, really good one because I probably finished it in like 15 minutes. It probably would have been less if I was only making one, like if I was only making one dinner because I technically made two. Um, I feel like it would take like 12, 12 to 15 minutes. It was really good. So anyway, so I wish I had a book to read, but I will see you guys tomorrow. <sighs> Hi, you guys. Wow, I look crazy. 
whatever, I don't care. Um, there's Tyler on his way over here with Leonard. He had the dog on a walk. And I'm getting ready to leave to work. Say bye, mama. Say bye, mama. Bye, Lenny. How was he? He's good. Bye, pups. We've got a lot to do today. <clears throat> Lots of stuff coming, um, inventory. Some inventory arrived already, some arrives today. I think it said between 11, 15, and 3, 3 15 or something like that. Um, so it's 10 o'clock now and we are both on the way. Brandilyn just texted me that she was leaving now. So, uh, that's what my day is gonna look like. That's what a lot of my days lately have looked like. Hence the lack of vlogs. It's not very fun. Like I've told you guys a bajillion times. It's not fun to watch or vlog. So, um, yeah. I am about to get my period. So I'm feeling ugh. But it's fine. It is. I really, really got to invest in like a stand for my camera over here. Oh, it's hot already. It's 74 degrees right now. And all week it's going to be in the 80s. So. Yeah, I know everybody that follows me that lives in either New York or New Jersey or Connecticut or Canada or the UK and Europe that it's freezing is probably like, oh my God, I wish. But I always try to tell people this and me and Tyler literally were talking about it the other day. <clears throat> the summers here are as long and dreadful as the winters where it's cold. So like summers here last from because we, we don't have spring <laughs> we don't have spring it goes from fall to summer that's kind of like what we have because it doesn't get cold enough to feel like winter because now it's technically winter and it's 74 degrees um and then spring we don't it just jumps right over spring and we go straight into like 90 degrees um like i think on thursday it's gonna be 90 90 degrees okay and then on top of that 90 degrees is one thing, you know? You could be 90 degrees and be on the beach or 90 degrees and it'd be like breezy and nice. No, that Florida doesn't have that. Florida has 90 degrees and the most humid air you will ever feel in your entire life. And people swear, people swear. Uh, but it is so humid and sticky and Orlando especially, like we're in the middle of Florida, like we're central Florida. So there's no beaches around us. There's no water around us. So like where Miami, they're on the coast, like they're on the beach. So they get a lot of breeze and like, you know, the weather from the ocean, we get still stuck air. And yes, it's more humid than New York. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody argues with me until they come here and then they feel it and they're like, oh, it's like a stuck, like, T humidity takes on a whole different definition when you come to Central Florida. And I know it's super humid in like places like Texas and like stuff like that, but <clears throat> yeah, it gets it gets really humid. So I'm not ready. I'm also not ready for the mosquitoes. They're about to take over my backyard. As you guys know, if you watch my vlogs, I talk about it all the time. Those mosquitoes come from the pits of hell. And I cannot sit in my backyard for more than five minutes without getting completely attacked all over my body. My legs, I, I get bit on my face. I get bit everywhere. And I have tons of different mosquito repellents and stuff like that. But I need to like get them out of storage because during the fall and winter, they're completely gone. Um, but the second it gets warm, it's like Satan releases them from hell. And they come back up to f destroy my life. Yes, or today I was just sitting outside to have my coffee and I got bit on my arm. I was outside. Yeah, I can feel it. I was outside for maybe 15 minutes. And I got bit. So it's that time of the year that is approaching in Florida where it's like, don't go outside unless you're gonna be in like a body of water. Like don't go outside if you're not gonna go to a pool. No, you're not, you're not, you're not, no. I don't have time for you. Um, don't go outside if you're not gonna be at the beach, in the water, like it's that type of weather. Well, it's getting there. It feels really, really nice right now. It feels like nice, warm spring type of weather, but by noon it'll be blazing. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I had breakfast, didn't really enjoy it. 
I had um, two over medium eggs with avocado because like I've mentioned I hate breakfast I don't enjoy eating breakfast eating breakfast makes me sick usually but if I have like a long day which I know today's gonna be I need I need food like I need to eat something and then just text me so it is 150 we just finished eating lunch and we got our FedEx package so it's just like the teddy bear thing it's very weird It's very weird. Wednesday, I think and I'm about to start doing some try-ons. I have on a workout set and I have a whole bunch of pieces over here um, And then we have a photo shoot today. So I guess I'm just gonna Let you guys here and show you a little bit. You guys have seen this if you watch My stories We're dropping so this is the plum active set and we have four active wear sets all completely different that we'll be launching today um just so you know for all the girls that are working on their fitness or even if you're not if you're somebody like me that you just like to go on walks i go on walks every single day um sometimes two a day sometimes just one but i'm always in some sort of active wear when i do that just because it's hot and i want to be comfortable but um this is the plum set and i'm wearing a size small in both top and the bottom these sets are sold together so you just stick to whatever you would wear in a Hey guys, so I am leaving my house right now. It's 10.45 and we have a shoot at 11. So I am leaving my house. Now I had to wake up at, well, my period dropped and woke me up at 7 a.m. If you guys know, if you get your period sometimes in the middle of the night, which I'm sure most women do. Um, yeah, it like bombed and I was like, oh my God. So I woke up, I got in the shower. I washed my hair, which you can't even tell because it's so hot already that I have it up. I washed my hair, did quick makeup. I literally just put concealer, bronzer, and highlight because it's getting, like I told you guys yesterday, it's getting to that weather that it's too hot for literally anything. I'm hoping we can get the shots that we're gonna do outside earlier. We'll probably do those first because it's too hot and I don't want the girls sweating and being uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, we have a shoot today. I always try to record like behind the scenes of the shoots, but I just can't because I'm taking the photos. So it's like I'm using my camera to take all the photos that I need. I got my camera. I got the pieces. We're dropping bathing suits. We have so many things that we're dropping. So I will see you guys a little bit later because I already know there's no way I'm going to be able to film. I've tried so many times and it never works out literally ever. So I will catch up with you guys later on. Hey guys. Today's Thursday, so happy Thursday. I am, let me see if I can prop you up on my water cup. I should probably get my tripod. We took Lenny on an hour long walk, so it was about two miles. And I left my cabinet open. And I am currently eating breakfast. I got back from that walk so hungry, like ready to eat. I didn't eat much at all yesterday because we were just so busy. I didn't eat lunch, well, my first meal of the day till like 2.30. So today I woke up hungry and I made a huge omelet. And it came out so good. I did, um, I cooked three sausage links 
and then I cut them up into little pieces and then I cut up bell peppers, onions, spinach, and tomatoes and I let that cook and then I added the spinach to it and then I scrambled two eggs and obviously made the omelet and then I topped it with goat cheese and these right here. These make everything taste better, I swear. These are the hot and sweet jalapenos from Trader Joe's. They're so good. If you like spicy, if you don't like spicy, then I wouldn't get them, but they're delicious. And I'm working from home today, so I was like, perfect. I can actually like vlog. But this has kind of been a very, very, very realistic show of what my weeks have been looking like. It just gets really hectic. And obviously, if I was actually recording all of it, you guys would actually see, but it's so, I, I just can't. Like, I cannot do. All of it at the same time i am making a ton of reels for b and c i'm not like filming any i'm just i have so much video footage from all of our photo shoots that i'm going to try to make a ton of reels just to have them my dress is supposed to be shipping today from the ukraine and the ukraine is being attacked right now so it is heartbreaking i'm like so sad i wrote the lady making my dress and i wasn't even asking for like an update i was just like I hope you guys are staying safe and you're okay. Like, I don't know this woman, but I've obviously had conversation with her back and forth since she's making my dress. So I just wrote her this morning and I was like, I hope you're okay. And your family and you and your family are in my prayers and whatever. And she was like, thank you so much for understanding. And still gave me an update on my, on my dress. And I wasn't looking for one. Like, I was like, like, what can she do at this point? So, yeah. Thankfully, we still have a good amount of time. It's about to be March, which is insane. Insane. And then, like, it's the time is going to just fly by. I didn't think I was going to eat it, but I was definitely hungry. <sighs> when I say I haven't been like spending money anywhere i mean like anywhere i haven't been doing anything because i'm like bro we have to save all of our money for this um but yeah i'm just gonna clean up my kitchen not very exciting um i'm gonna clean the dishes from breakfast and then i'm gonna jump in the shower because i sweat a lot on that walk um and then i'll kind of bring you guys along for my day hey guys so it's a little later in the afternoon i had like a whole bunch of stuff that I ended up doing in between like last time that I spoke to you guys. Uh, my best friend came over, we had a smoothie together. She brought me a book, a new book that I'm going to read, which is this one here. I'm not sure if any of you guys have ever, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, we call her our library because she's always buying books. Like she won't even read them all, but she has, she just has so many books. Um, so she brought that for me and I was just sitting in the backyard. I have on a bikini because that's the weather that we have. So I was just like sitting out here, um, getting some work done. I did like six reels or edited like six reels. Look at this room. There's stuff everywhere and it bothers me because I should be able to come into this room and feel like chill and I don't i don't at all so i really really need to figure this out but i kind of don't want to do it right now like i kind of just want to chill but i shouldn't if that makes sense ukraine said that they've killed a, a hundred russians so far that picture you sent me of a little old man Did you do something you're not supposed to do? Because nobody put you in there. No, he is waiting. He wants to eat that food so bad. Pick He's it up and none of the cats are going to eat it. I mean, then he might as well. Babe, that's not good for him though. It's not bad for him. If Natalie yells at her dog for eating cat food, Natalie and David were both yelling at Hendrix because there's too much protein in cat food and it messes okay i feed them. leonard the highest protein dog food that i can literally buy because he's a dog and he eats protein so just 
Yeah. It doesn't mean you should eat cow food though. No. Like every sip, I can feel myself waking up. That's what I need. Five o'clock as well. sit outside shall we probably really hot out here Ugh, go play Lenny hey you guys good morning it is just about to hit 9 a.m. and I am out in the back I actually need to this off I'm in the back I always like to have my coffee back here just to like get my day started get fresh air I've talked about this a lot I need to be like outside um, I have my coffee I actually brewed the Nespresso pod the cafecito the Puerto Rico one um, and I brewed it over ice with cold foam it's a very strong pod i think it's like 10 or 11 on the scale um but yeah today is friday tgif and it's also my mom's birthday so i need to call her right now it's so weird when you call people for their birthday and they don't answer because then if they call you back it's like they're calling you for you to say happy birthday to them she's not answering but yeah i always like to sit out here and just listen to the birds and just life around me it's always usually really busy in the morning because I'm so close to a lot of like building like office buildings and the courthouse and like stuff like that so I hear a lot of sound in the mornings and I need that this bird is happy today I'm not sure what my Friday is gonna look like as of yet honestly guys honestly honestly my life has been pretty low-key lately because I literally haven't really gone anywhere or done anything. I'm not shopping, I'm not buying random stuff. I don't think I've ordered something on Amazon in weeks and everybody knows like that's the easiest thing to do. So I feel like I kind of haven't had anything to share with you guys. So it is Friday night, here I am in my robe and a bathing suit top, but it's 8.30 and I need to make dinner. So, I'm about to make a little cocktail, I think. I don't know. When I make cocktails sometimes, unless I'm following a recipe, I'm just like throwing stuff in the like cup or the shaker or whatever. So I have some gin. This is Hendrix gin. I have some Saint Germain, which is a liqueur. I have some soda water and I have lemon. So I'm thinking I can come up with something with those flavors. I don't even know if it's gonna be good, but let's try it out. I don't like super complex cocktails, again, unless I'm like in the mood to make something super fancy. But I a cocktail glass here. I bought these on Amazon. I wanna get more 
and like new ones, but it's not a priority right now seeing as I'm getting married in two months. Literally two months. I'm going to put in, I have these really big ice cube trays. Um, they're from Amazon, but put that in there. I'm going to do, let me turn this here. Um, and again, not sure what I'm doing. This is a shot, so I'll do one, two, just so I don't have to make a ton of them. And then of the Saint Germain, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do one shot. Boom. Then I'm going to do soda water for bubbles. And then some lemon. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like, by the way. So this could be this could be the worst idea ever. Mixer. Doesn't look promising. Oh. It's actually pretty good. I think it's the elderflower, or the Saint Germain. It has elderflower in it. Wow, that's really good, actually. I think it would have been better if I would have shaken it. That's actually really nice. And it's super simple. Like normally if I'm home and I'm making like a drink, I'll do like tequila, lemon, and, or tequila, lime, and like a soda water or like a LaCroix or something. Like I keep it very, very, very simple. So I don't normally like to get like fancy schmancy. That's actually fantastic. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the water. Perfect. So, love St. Germain, love it. Let's close the Hendrix. And I have all of like my bar stuff in my Amazon storefront, so I'll leave it down below in case anybody's interested. Now for dinner. I'm sorry, it's so dark because my lighting in my kitchen sucks. That's better. Here's my Friday cocktail. Cheers. It literally just looks like I'm drinking water or Sprite. Wow. This is literally perfect. Okay. So, I have... I'm gonna do shrimp for myself, so I'm gonna grab Argentinian shrimp. I'm gonna do a very like veggie heavy like meal, um, just because that's what I'm in the mood for. I feel like my body's craving vegetables, so. I'll do like five or six shrimp. These are very like big shrimp. They're not like the ones that you get at like the regular supermarket. They're big. They're like a lobster type texture. So. I'm just gonna put them in some water to defrost them a bit. And for Tyler, I'm making him steak. I'm going to cook some jasmine rice. 
Um, that is basically the only rice that we usually eat except for, uh, like I'll make brown rice for myself, but normally it's a jasmine rice. I don't really buy white rice unless I'm making like a huge pot of like Spanish rice for something. Like if I'm making like rice and mandulas or rice and beans for like Thanksgiving or like a lot of people, then I'll use regular rice. But it's normally just jasmine. And then I have Tyler's steak already marinated and seasoned right here. So I'm just gonna mix it up. I have in here um, olive oil, vinegar, salt, pepper, um, onion powder, garlic, and paprika, I believe. And then to this, I will just chop up onions and peppers so i'm gonna do squash onions peppers and broccoli so i'm gonna do kind of like a stir fry situation um but also adding peppers and the second I open this and start cutting watch watch just watch Leonard is gonna come running over here just wait do you want a pepper You sit. Pop. Pop. Every single time he loves, like I'm talking, is obsessed with bell peppers. Like that's his favorite. Bell peppers, zucchini. Really, it's like bell peppers and zucchini. He likes blueberries as well. Loves yogurt, obviously. He's here waiting for another piece. Then I have a little bit of green pepper. I don't have too much. Lenny, I can't give you the green pepper. I don't have a lot. Um, but, like, he's obsessed. He'll stand here the entire time that I cut them up. The second he hears, like, the knife go into it, he comes running. rough cutting some for my I know I have more and then once I cut the squash it'll be right here waiting okay. so, I know folks have these like big chunks of red onion already cut so I'm just gonna use those for my food and then I'm gonna use white onion for Tyler's so I have white onion here you can't have this Lenny onions are not good for dogs standing here literally waiting for it okay I'm gonna give you a little piece so you can taste it first you already ate it he freaking loves vegetables <laughs> you like them so much he'll eat a whole freaking squash if I let him my sister's dogs love romaine lettuce. It's so weird. All my veggies here, I have bell peppers, red onion, and squash. And I'm gonna put that in a bowl. And for seasoning, I'm gonna do a spray of avocado oil. I'm gonna 
going to do red pepper flakes. I'm going to do onion salt. And then uh, coconut aminos. Boom. This is like a better version of teriyaki. Not teriyaki. Um, soy. Soy sauce. So, just a little splash. Boom, boom, boom. I also need to put garlic. This Puerto Ricans don't cook without this. This is the magic. Look at my fridge. This has all the flavor you need. Mm, that's so good. That goes into the pan before anything goes into the pan. I will show you guys once I'm done. So, totally forgot to show you guys what dinner looked like, but it was so good. I'm gonna post a picture here. It was so good. Very satisfying, super healthy, super balanced. Lenny, where's your toy? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Where's your toy, Papa? Good job, that's your toy. Anyways, I'm going to end this very long and not very eventful vlog here. Um, this weekend, I don't know what I'm doing, but I probably won't vlog because I don't usually vlog on the weekends. So I will see you guys next week, hopefully with very fun. Probably not very fun, let's be real. Have a great weekend, guys. Thank you for watching.